What's up? I'm Jerry and welcome to this channel endworldsuck.com. So in this video, I wanted to do a comparison on Litecoin mining versus Bitcoin mining with the ASIC miners. Um, I'm showing you right now, this is my first original Litecoin mining rig. Um, my first Bitcoin mining rig though is this computer right here. I actually mined my first few uh, points of a Bitcoin because I never was able to mine a whole Bitcoin. Um, when I found out about Bitcoin, it was already the difficulty was already too high. So as soon as I started mining, I was only making like a dollar a day. But I mined my first few Bitcoins with this card here. Um, and this is a video showing my first Litecoin mining rig. And a lot of people want to know how is the Litecoin mining going now, and they want to have an update on that. So I decided to make a video to show you um, my Litecoin mining rig. And now that we have ASICs out, I just got another shipment in of these um, USB key ASIC miners. Now that we have these and people are using ASIC miners to mine Bitcoins, I also figured, you know what, I might as well show you the differences between mining Litecoins and mining Bitcoins. Um, with the current technology that we have now. So without further ado, let's take a look at... Um, my mining operation. Alright, so this right here is my Litecoin mining rig. It's also mining Bitcoins at the same time. Um, it is kind of loud in here. Basically what I'm using to keep this thing cool is I'm taking the cool air from outside with this high velocity fan, We've got a filter here to keep all, all the dust. Brings the cool air in, and then I take that cool air from the room, fan it right through the graphics cards here, and out the back. Then that hot air gets exhausted with these box fans right there. Um, but it is kind of loud in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut all these off except a few, and um, turn the camera back on and continue this video. Oh, and before I turn the camera back on with everything shut off, I do want to show you the temperatures in here um, because it will cool down when everything is off. But right now, it's, everything's been running all night and it is 91 degrees. Um, and it is only uh, 9.46 in the morning. So it's not even 10 o'clock yet and the temperatures are already getting hot. I'm going to explain more about that when I turn everything back on, so I'll see you. I mean, when I turn everything back off and I turn the camera back on, so I'll see you in a bit. All right, so we are back. Um, I've turned off all the fans, so it's a whole lot quieter in here now. And I've also had to turn off the computers because these computers get real hot if the fans are not on. And you can just hear the fans overworking on the um, CPUs and things if they're not running. So yeah, here is a better look at the actual rigs without the fans in the way. Um, what this is, is this right here is one unit, or I just call it one miner. Each miner has four graphics cards. Um, I'll show you the graphics card box in a bit. But um has four graphics cards, and each row here has three miners. So we have one miner, two miners, three miners. And then it goes down four rows. So we have one, two, three, and then four. So, let me zoom out here. So yeah, basically we have four rows, three columns. Um, the graphics cards are all the same. They are these right here. Uh, the Radeon HD 7850s. Overclock edition. So yeah, they do come overclocked. Um, here are all the boxes. They're empty now because they're all in those machines. But it uh, basically took 48 of these graphics cards to build these 12 rigs. 
So, what is the hash rate that this mining farm can deliver? When it comes to mining bitcoins, this mining farm can deliver about 16 gigahashes. Um, all these GPUs working together, if they were all turned on at the same time, it'd give me about 16 gigahashes mining bitcoins. If it went, um, if it comes to mining litecoins, I could get about 16.8 mega hashes. Um, script mining is a little bit slower. So I would get about uh, 16.8 mega hashes uh, mining Litecoins. Um, one of the things, though, to keep in mind when you're trying to figure out if you're going to mine Bitcoins and Litecoins is what type of hardware are you going to use? When it comes to mining Bitcoins, this rig, this entire farm is actually obsolete. Because right now we have ASIC technology. And these ASIC miners are so powerful and so small that one miner, one ASIC miner the size of, let's say, this power supply here, could give me the hashing power of two of these farms. So if I had built two of these farms, I can squeeze that entire power. Uh, that's about 32 giga hashes. I can squeeze about 32 giga hashes into the size of something about that small if I was mining bitcoins. And that's the power of ASIC. So a lot of people, and rightfully so, are switching. Um, they're not mining bitcoins with their graphics cards anymore. They're mining bitcoins with ASIC miners. These ASIC miners can only mine bitcoins and other SHA-256 coins. ASIC miners cannot mine litecoins. So if you want to mine litecoins, the fastest way and the best way to go is with GPU mining. So that's what I do. With this rig here, I mine litecoins and other script-based coins. Right now I'm not mining um, litecoins per se. I'm actually mining digital coins because they're a little bit more profitable and then I just convert at the end. And that's basically what I've been doing. I'll either mine the most profitable coin and convert to litecoin, or if litecoin is the most profitable, then I will uh, just mine litecoins. Um, now, I do mine Bitcoins as well, but not with these GPUs. I have these USB ASIC miners to mine the Bitcoins. Um, these right here plug right into a USB port. As a matter of fact, I have this plug into a Litecoin miner. Uh, it's plugged in right here. This is another, um, USB miner. I couldn't fit it in here because I ran out of space. And this rig actually mines Litecoins and Bitcoins at the same time. The GPUs do the Litecoin mining and the ASIC miners do the Bitcoin mining. Just to give you a comparison, these 17 cards right here, mining Bitcoins, gives me the power of one, one, two, three, four, five, six, of these rigs. So if I was to turn six of these rigs on, okay, and mine bitcoins, I could do that same thing just by turning on this right here. It uses a lot less power, it takes a lot, it uses a lot less heat, produces a lot less heat, and I get the same power in a lot less space. So there, right there, that is the, this is the physical representation of, of uh, GPU versus ASICs. This is it, guys. You can either have six of these or, you know, two of these hubs. Plug these in. And when the Butterfly Labs come out, it'll be even smaller. All right? The power that you'll get per uh, square inch, you know, will be smaller. Um, one thing to keep in mind, if you're going to be mining Litecoins, is the power consumption. This is one thing I found out after the fact, after we started hooking these up, we found out, you know what, these things take a lot of power and they blow the circuits. So what we end up doing is we end up, you know, tracing all the circuits back to our circuit breaker here, finding out which um, circuits ran which and how many amps each breaker would support. And we would plug, we ran extension cords. So we got a few of these miners plugged in here in the kitchen, plugged in back there. We got a few of these miners plugged in the wall here. Um, a few of the miners are plugged in, you know, plugged in right here, there's a plug behind there. Um, we had to plug some into this room, and then we had to run extension cords and plug the others into this room. And still, 
with utilizing all the plugs and all the circuits on this layout here, we still do not have enough amps to support all of these rigs. So actually, to tell you the truth, we can only run four of these uh, units, uh, not four, why did I say that? We can only run eight of these units at a time. So four of these units stay off and we basically alternate them throughout the day. That way some of these units get a break and some of them don't. Um, another thing, it is real hot. These GPU miners, they take a lot of heat. Right now, um, cool down a little bit, it's 89, but everything's off right now. But it has been 105 degrees in this room before. Um, what we figured to do is, now what we do is every time it gets to 100 degrees Fahrenheit, we will shut these off and only leave like one or two on. We'll close all the windows and then we'll let the home air conditioning unit cool the room down because it's just not cool enough outside. It's summer here in Alabama. You know, this is the south and it's like 90 degrees outside. So the air outside isn't even cool enough to keep it, you know, cool in here below 100. And... The air conditioner does not work, by the way. If you're wondering why don't I just turn on the air conditioner, if we had all of these running, okay, we've done this before, had all these running and have the air conditioner on full blast all day, it will be 110 degrees in this house, okay? So the air conditioner does not work. It just does not produce enough, um, it doesn't produce enough coolant. We also bought this right here. Tried hooking this up. So we had this, you know, this is another air conditioner, by the way. We had this running had the air from the ceiling running, you know, the central air from the house running, and still it was not cool enough to keep it cool in here. So the only way we can really do it is just circulate the air from outside and basically do the mining operations during the night or during the winter. When the winter comes, ooh, yeah, this is the best time to mine because 50 degrees outside, the air comes in, circulates through. It's actually like having a nice little furnace in here and you don't have to pay for heat. Actually, your heat, your heater pays you, you know, because these mine light coins, you can pay yourself with your light coins. Um, but yeah, this is the mining operation because of these limitations of our circuit breaker here. And because of the heat, uh, we're actually looking into moving into a warehouse. That way we can build more of these script mining rigs and we can get some professional cooling units to keep these units cool. Um, the only thing right now is with the profitability being so low, we're still trying to figure everything out. Um, but that would be the eventual dream is to have a warehouse where we're mining script based coins and rent it out where people on the internet can lease units and have it set up, you know, where people can lease these units and then they can mine their script based coins as they please. Um, they also have the ability, um, we would like to have it where they will have the ability to switch to any script coin they want. So let's say they want to mine, um, you know, digital coins one day, light coins the next. They should have the ability to do that, and that's one thing we're looking into doing. Um, but right now, you know, we're, you know, trying to get everything together when it comes to the finances and figuring out how to do it. Maybe even looking into um, raising funds through uh, issuing stock, creating a company and issuing stock. But we're, you know, we're figuring it all out as things go along. We're still waiting on our Butterfly Labs ASICs to come in, and everything is going, you know, going along, check along, great. Um, but yeah, this is. Uh, the Litecoin mining rig that a lot of you guys have been asking, what is the update on? You want to know what's going on? That's that. Oh, one thing I want to say, if you're going to get into Litecoin mining or any type of mining that uses computers, um, please get a power sup a backup, battery backup, a battery backup unit because the power does go out every now and again for a few seconds. And when it does, it kills all the miners. So if you're gone from home or whatever, then that whole day worth of mining would be, you know, gone. If you have a battery backup, it'll last a few minutes while until the power comes back on, and there you go. Um, and I'll, I am to say this, you know, a lot of people who are mining uh, Litecoins, I was watching some videos, some people who are mining Litecoins are saying uh, one of the things they found is that they always have to monitor it. And yes, this is kind of like turned into a full-time gig. I'm always out here monitoring to make sure the uh, GPUs didn't die, making sure, um, you know, they're mining away and everything and that the internet connection didn't go out and it does take work so if you're going to get into mining you know you can't just let it go and let it be right now the best thing if you're just trying to let it go let it be i would say buy some of these you know buy some of these bitcoin miners um if i have some for sale i'll put a link in the description below but yeah buy some of those 
But if you're going to get into Litecoin mining, GPU mining, it's going to take work. And it's still, you know, new frontier. There's still not a lot of easy graphical interfaces out. You know, a lot of the stuff is code based. Right now I'm running Windows 7 using CG Miner um, on all these units. Some people are using uh, Linux. I never could figure out how to get it to work. I tried to use uh, Bamit. Um, I tried to do Ubuntu installer drivers. I couldn't get it to work. Um, but yeah, I'm still figuring that out. But yeah, you know, I'm figuring it out. Other people are figuring it out. It's just something that you have to do. And it's kind of like, you know, it's a risk reward. You, know, you take the risk, you take the reward. I bought uh, Litecoins back when they were six cents. And um, that, that paid off. And now Litecoins are about, you know, $2. So, you know, it's a risk reward. Everything's a risk. The idea, the, the, you know, the thing you have to keep in mind is, is it a risk that you are willing to take? Is it a risk that if you take it and it does not pay off, can you still live? Can you still survive? And if the answer is yes, and you're willing to take that risk, then go for it. That's my advice to anyone who's um, uh, uh, contemplating mining Bitcoins or mining Litecoins. But yeah, guys, that concludes this video. That's about that. Any questions, leave in the comments below. I'm not able to get to every comment because, you know, as videos get older, um, I really don't go to all my videos. But I try to answer as many questions as I can. Um, I also have my Twitter in the uh, in the description below. Some people want to know what am I mining at the moment. And on my Twitter account, I update that there. But anyways, that concludes this video. My name is Jerry. Rate, comment, subscribe, and let me know what do you think. Do you plan on mining or do you think you know what this is too much i'm just gonna let other people do it and i'll just buy the light coins or i'll just you know sit out cryptos in general let me know your your thoughts in the comments below or make a video response my name is jerry peace